Welcome to the in-depth video about Film Impact's Bounce Pack. Bounce Pack is an incredible, powerful set of video transitions. It allows you to quickly create smooth animations within Premiere without having to jump to After Effects. Here are a few examples of things that can be achieved with Bounce Pack. We'll start off slowly with a small sequence that contains three elements and a white background. These are two-dimensional graphic elements, and what I like to do is to add a 3D feel to it by applying the Impact 3D Flip. Having this applied to the little man on the right will immediately show the effect. It is a cool 3D reveal with motion blur and a nice bouncy effect. Let's click the transition in the sequence and head over to the Effect Controls tab. Here we can find the parameter controls. The animation curve that you see over here will show you visually how the bounce is moving throughout the transition. See how we can easily tweak the animation by changing just three parameter controls. We can change the initial velocity, the number of bounces, and the elasticity of the bounce. Changing the bounce type to overshoot will give another type of animation that is affected by frequency, amplitude, and decay. This is fun to play around with. Compare this to animating with keyframes. Can you imagine the amount of time this will save you for this kind of animation? Now, look at the quality of the motion blur. This is incredible. Compare this to doing motion blur in After Effects. Can you imagine our plugins take up to 128 motion blur steps to give it that really smooth looking, high quality blur? A bounce pack renders very quickly, especially considering the amount of blur it processes. Moving on with this particular animation, I'm going to choose a nice curve that I'm happy with. Let's copy and paste this transition to the little guy on the left. Invert the angle to make it move in the opposite direction. I like to have a different transition length here to give it a dynamic feel. Doing the same for the light unit above will give this animation. Isn't that cool? Let's create another animation with a lot more elements. I'm going to import a layered Photoshop file. When you import a Photoshop file, Premiere shows a couple of options. We don't want Premiere to merge all the layers. Instead, I'm going to choose Import as Sequence. This will create a sequence with all the layers visible, just like in Photoshop. To create a nice dynamic animation, I'm going to create an offset of two frames for each layer. Usually having one or two frames offset is enough for the final dynamics of the effect. Now I'm going to choose a transition that will work for this particular image. I'm going to choose Impact Pop and tweak the animation curve. Set the duration of the transition to about 2 seconds. And here's the cool part. Select the transition and copy it. Now select all the endpoints of the stacked layers by command dragging them all. Then all we need to do now is paste. There you have it. Isn't that just incredible? If you want to tweak some more, go right ahead. Select the top transition, change the parameter controls, copy the transition, again select all the endpoints and paste it to all the layers. Did you ever think about accomplishing this effect so quickly right within Premiere Pro? This is the power and beauty of Bounce Back. Thank you for watching.